I'm Debbie from the home of interiors.co.uk and this short video is just going to talk you through glider options um, and weight of curtains. It's just a, a question we're asked quite a lot, what type of gliders do I need, how heavy are my curtains? I'm just going to try and give you a, a brief overview to help with the decision making process. Um, so on some of these silent glist curtain tracks you will see the, the options to have standard gliders or an upgrade to roller gliders. And what that, the difference really is, um, literally the roller glider, hopefully you can see this here, has got a little wheel on it and the standard glider doesn't, it's just got um, you know, just a little slot. Um, now what the roller glider does is just increase the weight capability of the curtains and just enables you to have a smoother draw. Um, so the standard curtain tracks taking the roller glider um, would be the Sinicus 1280 on a hand-drawn model or the 3900 on a corded model. So that's sort of the difference between the standard and roller. Now on some of the other tracks, such as the Silent Gliss 6840, um, the 3840 and the Metropole, you've got um, slightly different choices. So you've now got the option of the new 2C glider, um, which is a new technology um, launched and patented by Silent Gliss, which gives a, smooth, a quieter glide so if you see 2C Glider on the website, and there's all Glider um, information tabs on each product, um, the new 2C Glider is this Glider here, suitable for medium weight curtains, um, and it just gives you a quieter draw to the old um, track. And this is the new 2C Glider. So a much quieter operation. Um, Silent Gliss are renowned for their quiet tracks and compared to others on the market, I would have deemed that they were already quiet, but they have just got even more quiet now with the new 2C glider. So if you see that on the website, that, that's what it means. And then on the tracks with the 2C gliders, you can upgrade to what's called roller gliders on those tracks. So you've got the standard 2C glider and then you've got a, a roller glider. And it literally is, again, a little wheel. Um, so the curtains just move on the, on the wheel system and again, that just increases the weight capacity of the track. And on the, some of the curtain tracks as well, we also offer the option of wave gliders. Now, you need wave gliders if you're going for the wave heading on your curtains. And this is a contemporary curtain heading style that gives a uni uniform fold on the curtains um, and really gives the look of an eyelet curtain, but with the functionality of a, on, on a curtain track. So you still get the curtain hooks on the curtain, um, and it is the gliders that make the that make it wave compatible, um, and the gliders come um, on a string, so the gliders are in a fixed position, and it's this that gives it the wave effect, and the gliders are either eight centimeters apart or six centimeters apart. Um, the eight centimeter wave gives you a deeper wave, and you'll get fewer of them, so you'll get a slimmer stack if the stack back size is important to you because you want to clear your big bifold door for example. The 60mm option gives you shallower waves but more of them um, and a deeper stack back so it really comes down to personal preference. On smaller windows you might want to consider the 60mm wave as you won't get as many 80mm waves so it can look a little bit shallow um, but on big windows, bifold doors, the 80mm wave looks absolutely fabulous um, and gives you that lovely slim stack back as well so another advantage. But they are wave guiders. Um, so that really talks you through the glider options. So you've got the standard gliders, you've got the standard 2C gliders, which are the quieter gliders. Then you've got the roller glide option, which are on the little wheels, so give it increases the weight capacity of the tracks. Um, and then you've got the wave option. Um, on the wave, you have got an 80mm wave roller option. And that is really if you've got very, very tall ceilings, um, very wide windows and heavy, heavy fabrics. Um, they are big gliders and they do, I just want to make you aware that they do give you a gap between the top of the curtain and the bottom of the track. So if you really feel that you need to work great to the 80 mm wave roller gliders, please do give us a call to have a chat um, as we just want to make sure that you need that upgrade. Um, and if, if I don't know, I will contact Silent Gliss to find out for you if you need that upgrade. Um, as, the, as I say, that it does create a gap between the top of the curtain and the bottom of the track. So I just don't want you to upgrade if, if you don't need to. The wave glider um, weight um, allowance is two and a half kilograms per meter. 
So every fabric has a weight, so you will be able to work it out. But again, if you need any advice, please do give us a call on 01590 615 So how heavy are my curtains? I've got these curtains, so how heavy are they? I, I don't know. So just as a rough guide, let me, I'm just going to talk you through the light, medium and heavyweight curtains. So lightweight curtains are typically up to six and a half kilograms. So you can, of course, weigh them. But if that's not practical, and if you, again, just for a guide, the type of curtains that would fall into the lightweight category are your boils, your, your shears, your nets, lightweight cotton curtains. Um, so so th those types of curtains, typically unlined, or even a lined curtain, but just a windowsill height, that would be deemed as a lightweight curtain. Going on to medium weight, this is at curtains up to 11 kilograms as an industry guide. Um, and this would include most ready-made, you know, shop-bought, from the, from the high street curtains, um, whether, yeah, they could be, still be floor length. Um, they can still be lined and blackout lined. Um, they tend to have a, a, yeah, a lighter weight fabric for the ready-made shop bought curtains. Um, so they're in your sort of your medium range category. And then going on to your heavy, um, it's when you're getting into your velvet, your chenilles and your wool curtains. So heavier fabrics, but also lighter fabrics such as the silk that you've lined and interlined. So when you're getting into interlining, you're really getting into heavyweight curtains then. And of course, the, you know, the width of um, fabric you need, the width of your window and the height of your ceiling will affect. Um, but just as a guide, um, you know, hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel over here and you can watch all our other videos over here. Thank you for watching.